Hello everyone, Adrian Antolak from CG Hacks here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add relative materials to Cinema 4D Asset Browser. Let's get into it. So first, let's find the place on our PC where we want to store all of our new material packs. For me, it will be this place here. And I'm just gonna create a new folder called Redshift local database and as you can see i already have here cg hacks car paints for redshift i'm just gonna drop it here and i will just have here this safe spot for all of the zip files which will contain all of the redshift materials and from here all i need to really do is just open the asset browser here and just drag directly to the asset browser here make sure you drop it here to this darker box with all the categories not here and it should load here, as you can see. Here it is, user databases, car paints, redshift, city hacks. And we can see it here as well in the categories. If we click the plus icon, we can see the materials and car paints, redshift, city hacks, and all the specific variations of the car paints as well, already organized. And from here, we can just start playing with those. So let's maybe take the flex one and we can apply them in two ways. But first, let me open the material manager so we can see what's going on. It's this button here. So first, we can just drag and drop it here. And second way of doing that is just double clicking it. It will automatically put it here. And from here, you can just drag and drop it to your model and start playing with those shaders, as you can see. Um, Let's say I will modify this one to something else. Doesn't matter right now exactly what I will do with it. I just want a bit different. Maybe that's too much, but uh, it will work. It's different. And I just changed this material here. And if I apply it again, we have fresh new one, which is not affected by the changes in this one. So whatever we change here, it will not affect this category of our materials. But if we want to save this one specifically, we can just drag and drop it here and it will open the save asset box. We can call it, uh, let's say gold flakes and just click OK. And now we have it here, as you can see, actually I already have other gold here, uh, but it's still safe anyway, as a copy doesn't override uh, previous one, so it's actually good. And let's say we don't use it this much and we just want to get rid of it, so we can just right click it and delete and click yes. And I think that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully this will speed up your workflow and you will have more fun time playing with the shaders. And if you want to get those materials in specific that I just showed in this tutorial, you can check out the description below to get this exactly product that we have on our website. And I think that's it. See ya.